happy day. Oh, happy day. Cause I'm with my peeps. Oh, happy day. How you gorgeous people out there? How y'all doing? I had to just break out into a little song. Y'all know how the mama rolls. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're new. Welcome to our channel. And guess what we're doing today? Going to a disco. No, we're not. We're going to make some homemade jerk seasoning. And I know some of y'all saying, wait a minute, mama, you did that already. Yes, I have. But this time, it's with a twist. Okay? I always like to take my recipes and see if I can improve upon them. Or if not, improve them because they're already good. Just do something different with them. This weekend, I'm doing some catering at a kind of like a pop-up. No, I'm the pop-up. It's a tap room, okay? Craft beer at Umbard and Brighton. And they asked me to come along and I'm doing some jambalaya, some of my homemade barbecue ribs, but I'm also doing some jerk chicken. And I thought it'd be really interesting to try and incorporate some of their beer into my jerk seasoning. So I I'm doing a little test today. So you know me, when I do something new, I always like to do it with you first. I don't do it by myself. Why? Because I don't have to. I ain't got to do it by myself. Because I got a lot of people out there in the world who are tuning in just to see what I'm going to come up with next. And guess what? This is what I'm coming up with. So this is a refresher course for those of you who have seen how to make my jerk seasoning in the past. And if it's your first time, well then guess what? You're in the right place because you're going to learn how to do this. Simple, simple, simple. So this is what we need. You need some limes, some spring onion, a heap load of parsley. <laughs> Either have it up or have it down. I went down and you went up. I went up. <laughs> some parsley. Okay. Spring onions, limes, parsley. And some scotch bonnet chilies. Okay. And some olive oil. And we're going to add to it this cold press summer stout. Okay. So, first thing first, you just want to get your spring onions, you want to chop them up. Now, I find if you're making this, I really wish I'd have, I should have, but it's just too much work. Oh. My um, my blender. It's the best to do this in a blender if you have it. Because then it's you just throw it in and you let the blender do the work. I'm going to be doing it with my stick blender. So it's going to take a little bit more. Have you got a blender? I got a really good one. Yeah. Should I get it? No, because it, it does take a whole lot of... Putting it together and getting it all out. Okay. No, nah, I can't, ain't got time. By the time we've done that, we won't have saved I, I've time. been done. Yeah. I've been done. Got it. So, I've got these, okay? Then you want to also, and I'm making up a big batch because I'm going to put some of my plain jerk seasoning in here. And then the beer bit is going to be added set to my next bit. Okay? So, I'm going to take some parsley. And this is just your flat leaf parsley. And you throw that in. Just do it coarsely because it's all going to be blended together. Then what I want to do is I've cut the ends off of these so I can hold them a little bit better. I'm just going to put some of the zest of my limes. Mmm, that's so fresh. Put that in. And then I'm going to actually, we're going to be putting lime straight to it. But I just want to get this zest. But I don't really want the whole of the um, the white bit because that can be quite bitter. So like this. Knock that. Then what we're going to do is you're going to take it like this. Cut your lines. Oh, I love lines. And then, like I say, just trim some of this. Careful. So that you don't have too much of the white. Okay? Because that can be quite bitter. Doesn't matter if you get some of it in. But just trim if you can. Oh, I love that line. So, 
So I'll tell you what, come back to me once I've trimmed off most of this. Because yeah. I'm going to, way to do it is like this. Okay? Just so that you can get around. Just like that. So rather than cutting it first. Yeah, don't cut it first. Keep it whole, but I cut that one because I was zesty. Okay, so we'll come back to you when I've done all of this. Okay, so you can see I've kind of peeled quite a bit. Throw that in. Then to that, you need a nice heaping load of salt. You also need some of my love dust, baby. Yeah! Peel! And then to loosen it, you got to put the liquid. So I use some olive oil. So pour that. Generous amount, and that's to help with the blending. And also in the preservation of it all. And then, scotch bonnet. We're going to go for this big bad boy. Seeds in or out? I'm going to take these seeds out. Okay. And I'm going to put the seeds in the smaller one. Got it. Okay. All right, because this is a big one. That is a big one. We've got loads of heat in the pepper itself. Yes, okay. and flavor. And this is yes. all about... It's more about the flavor I than just the flavor of the instead of the heat. So let's go to smaller one. Go to the small orange one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep the seeds in that one. Okay. So now I'm going to make some noise. So just so I can show you what's going on. Oh, so I'm going to get all the way down to the bottom. Alright, I'll come back. So come back to me when this is ready. How it's going is getting all blended in there. stage I'm just gonna whip a bit out mm, it's so fresh mm, and a little bit of a kick to it okay now to this wait a minute I'm gonna put some of my it's gonna have a tiny taste because yeah now, oh, that's so good. This is a dry Ooh. Jamaican, <laughs> see, um, just kind of a seasoning, a dry mix. So we're just going to add a little bit of that to it. You don't have to, but this has the all spice and just just a bit more flavor in it as well. And now let's give that a mix. Mm, did you get it? Did you taste that heat? Did you get some heat? I got a little bit, yeah. It's not too spicy. No, it's not. Although I only, I look literally took a tiny bit. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I think it's it needs a little bit salt. More salt. You see me? My hand is here. Wow. <laughs> my hand was there. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that salt with the lime is delicious. So good. So what I'm going to do now... Oh, there's a big bit of spring onion just there that hasn't... Yeah. Mmm. Oh, I just got kick. I'm going to take some of this and put it in my jar so that I've got some for later. Oh, this is nice. Mmm! quite a lot, Mum. I'm not going to have... Oh, I'm going to have plenty, Katrina. Trust me. So, that's going for later. And now with this, I'm going to now add my beer. So, let's add a little bit of... I'm interested to taste that beer on its own just to see what it's like. Oh, you don't like it. Okay. Malty. Oh, I like that. Mm. I really like that. Okay, I need a little bit more. It's really nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks good. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my gloves on. Because now I've got to do some massage. I'd like to taste it before you get it on the raw chicken, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. Just get a spoon. That 
that's really good. Nice. Really good. Okay, so I'm going to have this here. And here I've got some chicken. So I'm going to throw this fresh chicken. I don't want that juice. This was freshly from the butchers. And I sealed. Let's get this like this. Actually, let me think. Is this one? Um, actually, I'm going to do it in this. I just need to pour. All right, here, hold it, hold it. Let me just switch the camera off, hold on. So I've taken half of the chicken out, moved it over, because now what I want to do, well, here, let me get something to put. Here we go. Just so that you can test this. We can tear that later before it goes in. Keep that to the side. Because then what I want to do is I'm going to get my love dust, put some over this side, and then I'm going to pour some of this in, and then I'm going to get in there and massage that. Okay. Now, it doesn't matter that there's some big pieces because this is really just for marinating before I roast it. And now I'm going to place this on the top. Yeah. And I'll do that bit. So if I haven't got that. Your hands. Well, I was going to pour it all over and then I know, it's going in the dishwasher. Okay, but you know. Okay, get that there. And then this over the top. Well, all of it. So let's get all of that in. And now let's get this in. Get it massaged down in there. And this is going to sit now for, this is going to marinate for four days. Oh, wow, okay. I'm going to just leave it in my fridge, cover it over to do its thing. And I'm just going to add a little bit more beer to this. Because this is, let's just put the whole can. Yeah, because it's just marinating. Because it's literally, this is just for the marinating so that it's sitting in our beer and jerk seasoning. Okay, I'm going to take my gloves off because I'm now going to add just a little touch of smoked paprika over the top of that. I'm going to get some more salt. And I'm going to add a touch of oil. And this is all just for the preserving because I'm keeping it for so long. And I had some vinegar. You do, oh, I moved it here. Yeah, I got it. Even though the, the limes are going to, the fresh limes are helping to preserve it. Let's just put a little bit of that in. Okay. And then let's just walk it, work it down. Mm. This is going to be delicious. Oh, this is going to be so good. When are you baking it? I'm going to bake this on Saturday. Okay. There we go. So, a nice little refresher course on how to make my homemade jerk seasoning for my jerk chicken, which is going to be oven roasted, and it's going to be magnificent. Okay. What on earth was that? I was going to try to say mag magnifique. Say magnifique. Except I went magnificific. You know me. <laughs> I will come up with a word in a minute. So, guys, I will come back to you once this is roasted. I'm going to actually film and show you this when it comes out of the oven. How delicious it's going to be. And this is just going to make it tenderize and be scrummy lies so please see ya soon hey everybody i hope you enjoyed that video because you know what mama say don't bend it spin it and i'll see you next time on the other side